Okay, so I just looked up their prices, and she is worth 24 just wanted to clear that up. Plus, just to let you know, she does have one or two little spots, which she came with when I got her. Uh, she was bought, and he was bought on purpose for trading, but anyways, the person who sent it to me did not tell me about the little marks on her. But the one that's real noticeable out of everyone is that one. And I could touch them up for you if you, you want. It's the Sorrel Proud Arabian Mare, which is in here. Whoops. Okay, you didn't get any marks. Okay. Sorry about that. Drop something off the shelf again. But anyways. Uh, where is she? Uh, I know Black Beauty, uh, Black Beauty one that you're um, having for trade is 21, which I would love to get her. I mean, I seriously really wanted to get that one. And I was really bummed when they retired it and I couldn't get a chance to get her. Anyways, uh, so anyway, she was made from 91 to 92 and she's $24, so she's worth three more dollars than yours. Um, she is very nice. Anyways, so that's my trade. And this one, he is the ideal American Quarter Horse, which is right here and he I believe he actually has this redder uh, one so he's worth 39 so he's very nice yeah he's kinda like the redder version he might be 38 or 39 bucks does have a few little tiny marks like uh, that one's the only noticeable one and I actually might be able to rub that one out because it looks like it's a layer of paint from whoever got him before me Anyways, I really love him. I've gotten attached to him, but I would be willing to trade him and stuff. And I know that you're in the National Show Horse one that you have, Gypsy. These are 27, so, you know, these together actually are worth more than the two that you have. But I might be willing to let him go, even though it would be a really hard thing. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I just want to let you know that. And that, uh, one second. Yeah. I also have a few uh, stable mates. I have a retired stable mate up there. She's no longer made. I might be willing to trade her. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are the two others besides all the ones up there that I showed you. Uh, I also will, I'm willing to do any, like I said before, the customs and stuff. And if you know anyone who has any of the Briar Riders, um, any of the traditional rider dolls, um, or if anyone has any uh, nice I'm looking for a lot of different traditionals and stuff, so even if, let's say, you have other ones that you're willing to trade with me for, uh, let me know about that. If you know any other people who have really good briars, like Della Robia, or any of the Big Ben models, uh, I would be willing to trade the Kinetic Count, but that's about it. Price range of those, I decided to show some of these. I would love to get either, or uh, especially, I would love Black Beauty. That's one of my molds I've been looking for. Also, anyone else who's willing to trade with me can look at this too. Anyway, starting off, I have these three stable mate customs. And I was going to sell these on eBay. This one's kind of my older one. So he is live show quality. I mean, he has realistic markings and really good shading, but uh, you can't really see that, like the shading on the pinto markings. And my best work, for some reason, are on stable mates. Also, uh, he's my newest custom, so he is not for trade. He has realistic dappling and shading and anyways he's going to be on a new video but I just want to show you some of the work I do uh, this one is for trade anyways I'll get back to her but anyways these three were on, going to go on eBay this one was like a limited edition gal did one just like this I did this one uh, earlier this year like in May but she just put hers up a couple weeks ago anyways I think the bidding went from 12 to 14 to like $20 so yeah he was going to be sold around you know I was already selling it for 15 to 20 on eBay this one's going to be going on eBay. She's about 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, she comes with a stand. She's repositioned. So if you want that one, too, I can combine. And of course, you know, I'm not going to just trade one stalemate for one traditional. You know, you can combine as much stuff as you want in this video. Anyways, this is one of my other customs that I did earlier this year. Um, she's a custom fam. Uh, she had re-sculpted legs. Didn't work out too well. She was a beautiful uh, model, though. So, also, this is some of the work I can do. Uh, anyway, she was kind of a tougher case when it came to painting her, but... Anyway, so just... She has good eyes, though. And I tried to copy a horse that I saw. Anyways, this one right here... 
she is worth 20 ooh I forgot 20 something dollars I'll put it on like a notation with how much she is or put it in the description but she is worth in the $20 range also plus also I can make you a saddle you know English saddle this is live show quality by the way realistic buckle um, and the straps also have holes in them for the buckle so it works um, anyways that's just one of the customs I can show you that I can do a custom job but this one right here is a newer custom she's a creamsicle look like she's not all the way done I'm almost done I'm just putting detailing in her mane and a final hoof detailing she does have eye detailing just did that for the video anyways it's very realistic I'll put some pictures in so you can see that but I would be willing to trade her you know I was gonna sell her on eBay for like 30 20 30 bucks so anyways it's a creamsicle look-alike even similar markings on both sides and she is shaded Oops. so you can see that she also had a re-sculpted forelock mane and tail so that's all been added on this is a paddock pal she does have a few marks so she's not in that good of a condition but anyways I can show that one also I can repaint it for you if you want to trade for the two uh, here is uh, this one is very hard for me to let go of I was going to trade him like the only way I was going to get rid of him was either by going for a Big Ben mold or like Della Robia or one of those he goes for 50 to 70 bucks online on like auctions and stuff I've been watching it for a while because I've been considering selling him so anyways he would definitely be two or three traditional models because of how expensive and he's kind of rare um, and hard to find I mean I was lucky to get two of them uh, I had to go to actually a store 60 miles away for one and then this one was closer a friend found it online for me so anyways so yeah that's some of the stuff I could trade also I have sorry about the moving of the camera I also have this one I'm not done with this stable mate uh, working on darkening him a little bit and stuff he's also dappled so anyways uh, I could finish him or I can start repainting him any color you want so that's always a possibility so yeah you can combine like you know a couple stable mates uh, tack I also have tack video I just put up I have traditional harness which is a uh, live show quality also so if you want that I can do bridles I can do any tack really so you know just let me know I also do show diorama so if you want to show diorama for let's say the stable mate or you have classic also I can do uh, paint jobs for you on like maybe a few like for one model I could do like three or four stable mate paint jobs and then like you know or you can trade like a couple stalemates with a traditional or something or you know or I can do a custom job on a classic um, or traditional you know just let me know like two classic paint jobs for traditional I can do anything really so just you know let me know and stuff and so that's what I have for trade right now and I might be willing to trade that custom or that custom not him he's too special but um Anyway, so yeah, those are all the ones I have available for trade, so if you're considering that, uh, for him it would definitely be two of the models, but uh, just let me know about that.